Hey guys, Kyle Paul here dropping this next video for you. What we're doing today is we're testing the new 2026 Tesla Model Y Launch Edition with the latest full self-driving computer for and the latest edition of the full self-driving software version 13.2.8. We want to see how the Tesla will respond to different rain conditions. Here for test one, we have a heavy rain wind scenario. Full self-driving activated. No destination set. And what you'll see here is the Tesla will see the dummy and will steer left. And so to fix this for test two, I do set a destination. Same exact heavy rain wind setup. Full self-drive on and this will allow it to go past the rain. And you'll see here as it approaches the rain, it stops, sees the dummy, slows down right before. For test three, we kept the same scenario just to do another test to see how it, res how it would respond. And here you see full self-driving activated as it approaches the heavy rain. It'll steer a little to the right to avoid the dummy and then it slows down. We decided to do one more test, test four, with the exact same heavy rain wind setup, full self-driving activated. And you'll see here, it sees the dummy, slows down, good distance, safe distance, and turns off full self-drive. For test five, we decided to make it more of a lighter rain and wind gust situation to see how the Tesla responds. It sees the dummy, it drives around, disengages full self-drive. Then we decided, let's try more of a Florida scenario here. Heavy hurricane rain, wind, Full blast. Let's see what this computer can do. I put the destination in just to make sure that it does keep going straight past the rain. Activate full self drive. And as the Tesla approaches the rain, it sees likely the dummy or, or something behind and it does slow down but it's hard to tell with how heavy this rain is for the second setup we did the exact same thing trying to see does it see the dummy and here you'll see that it tries to steer to the left to likely avoid the dummy and then it does something funny and it just keeps slowly approaching it until it fully sees it and then disengages. So this made us want to do one more test to see is there a pattern. We did uh, more of a spread out rain scenario with a little side gust for, for this next test. Full self driving engaged. As the Tesla approaches the rain, you'll see that it sees the dummy and disengages but gets pretty close to it um, at this point we really want to try to hit this dummy so we move him to the right as as the Tesla on the previous run was trying to move to the right side just to see if we can get this Tesla to hit the dummy for this next test it approaches sees the dummy slows down disengages so we cannot get this Tesla to hit the dummy so our, for our final test, uh, we decided to give it a full go, override, full self-drive if need be. Um, I asked the firefighters to put the dummy back into the center of the road, full blast. I start the test with full self-drive on, and then my plan is if it does start to slow down or it wants to stop I will override full self-drive so here you'll see me activate full self-drive 
and then high override it and bust through. Override, override. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. There you have it. I had to override full self drive to get the Tesla to hit the dummy. I can't give you the full rundown of what the Tesla is seeing and how it's responding to what it's seeing. What I can tell you is I tried and did what I could to get the Tesla to hit the dummy and I could not get it to do so unless I override the system and floor it. And that's what you saw there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Many reached out to say they want to support me. I appreciate that. And I just ask you that you send any support first to the Nokomis Volunteer Fire Department. They were there ready to make this happen. And they want to do a lot more 